Look what I designed and 3D printed. That's right, a hand dryer. A mini hand dryer. If it doesn't look like a hand dryer yet, it will soon. So first to introduce what's gonna be powering this thing. This is a 20 watt, 12 volt, 1.68 amp fan. It's very, very, very powerful. I'm gonna go over the parts and then we're going to assemble it. So this is the rear panel here. We have the intake holes, the mounting bracket for the fan. The bracket has intakes on the top, bottom, front, and sides. This is a 6038 fan, 60 by 60 millimeters by 38 millimeters. So the air comes out this way. I'm going to actually start by putting the bracket on. This is going to take two screws diagonally like that. There we go. Next is the fan. And because I don't have long enough screws to reach down into there, I'm just gonna put these in like pins for now. And if it rattles too much, then I'm going to do something else. So there we go, the fan is in. And look how beautifully flush this lid goes on now. Now, this is sticking out a little more than it normally would. So there we go. That's strange. Actually, it's fine. It's because it's standing on those two screws and not on four. But look how beautifully flush this fan is now with the front panel. So the way I designed this, the front part is actually meant to be screwed in from the inside so that they're not visible from the outside, the screws. And then we're going to have the LiDAR sensor angled downwards, mounted on the chamfers on the inside and pointing out through here, downwards. So when you put your hand, this turns on, blows the air through there and out from the bottom of that. So I'm going to start by mounting the, I'm going to put the screws through the holes here first because it's a very tight fit. And then we're going to thread them into that front part. So one screw here. And because of how tight of a fit it is, um, we're only going to need two screws. It's amazing how well this turned out because the only part I had to reprint was this bottom part because I was so stupid and forgot to print out vent holes, I mean intake holes, the first time around. So there we go. Now it's time to mask these. Now, I haven't tried this method, so it might work and it might not work. And it works. Nice. This one is a little... Ugh. Okay, I'm not going to try to get it on all the way. This is pretty good. No? And while that fit on perfectly. Um, if I reprint this, I'm gonna have the front panel slide on to grooves here, like T-slots. I know that's not the correct term, but so look at that. Beautiful. So let's test it.
I used to have an alligator clip on this, you know what? Let's just put that on here. Wow. That is... Look at that. So here we have the LiDAR and relay assembly, which I just realized is too messy to fit into this tiny enclosure. So I'm going to have to design a new version of the back plate with mounting holes for the relay. Um, I'm actually going to use the solid state relay. And the LiDAR module is going to be mounted using thermoplastic from the inside here to be mounted and pointing downwards from the inside, basically. So I'm going to have to redesign this with tiny brackets on the inside to allow this to basically be looking down so that when you put your hand in front of it, it triggers it. I've tested this, well, you can't see that. I've tested this using an Arduino Uno outside of this enclosure and it works. So all I need to do is put it inside of here and put like a 18650 battery and this will be a portable hand dryer. I'm going to be putting mounting brackets for the wall here too, I mean a mounting hole, so that you can just hang it up on a hook. So, that is it for this video, unfortunately, because it appears that I have to do a little bit more work than I thought to get this completely finished and looking nice, because you can see there are holes here for a lid, but I forgot to put holes on the bottom. Well, I put two here, but I didn't put two holes here for a bottom uh, lid. So I'm going to have to reprint and we'll redesign and reprint that. But then we're going to have a fully functional hand dryer. Like this. Ooh. that even if I cover the top and bottom, well, actually I haven't tested this out, but this should suck the paper down. I hope. Yeah, there we go. And it works. Oh, why does it? Well, as you can see, there's barely any gap or no holes, but... Oh, it keeps disconnecting. Well, you can see it clearly works. The lighting is so bad here. Terrible. Oh my god. Well, uh, there we go. That's a good. Look at that. Beautiful. Can't believe I designed that. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. I really like these vent holes. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe because I spent a lot of time making this. So yeah.